Hello guys, welcome to the Superwatch channel. Mito is a well-known Swiss watch brand with headquarters in the local. The Bielbien-based firm has been around for more than a century and is now a significant player within the Swatch group. Even though not all of the brand's watch models do so, architecture has a significant influence on them. Today's video will go through the top Mito watches that you can buy this year. I've included links in the description below for further information on the goods. Let us begin without further ado. Number 1. Mito Multifort Patrimony The Multifort series is the backbone of the Mito family products. Introduced in the 1930s, this series remained the company's top seller until the 1950s. The Multifort was reintroduced in 1998 when the company once again made reliable automatics a top priority. While not perfectly typical of the collection, the patrimony is nonetheless a great timepiece. You probably already know that I have a soft spot for timepieces that draw inspiration from the past. And this watch is a great representation of that trend. I like all three versions, but my favorite is the one with the anthracite dial. I'd want you to take another look at the watch's dial before I get into the watch's technical characteristics. Although I probably won't use it, the pulsimeter scale does look nice. The dial is what initially grabbed me because of the modest state window and the many hues a grade has. The dial looks great with the siren's hands and the crisp indexes and numbers. Most Mito watches fall within that uncomfortable range between $600 and $1,250. They're more expensive than other budget watches from the Swatch Group, such as TSOT and Certina. The patrimony may be had for around that sum. The Mito Caliber 80, a movement based on the ETA, is used. So it's a high-end Swiss automatic with a sizable power reserve, and you can check it out for yourself via the transparent case back. Plus, the watch's sapphire crystal gives it respectable technical specifications. Its 40 mm width is not typical of a historical timepiece but rather reflects contemporary preferences. The worn leather strap is a nice finishing touch. Number 2. Mito Ocean Star Tribute At the very end of the 1950s, the first Mito Ocean Star was put into service. The watch used Mito's Aquadura crown technology, but the single-piece casing was the real innovation. The watch was sealed with cork, a material the company has been using since the 1930s. This model was introduced in 2020 as an homage to the Ocean Star and its place in the Mito lineup, rather than as a direct replacement. The casing is compact since it is another item with a retro aesthetic. Its diameter is 40.5 compared to the 44 millimeters of the current Ocean Star standard. That's nice, it feels more genuine. Compared to the ordinary model, the bezel and casing are unique and the entire case is finely polished. Avoid getting scratched at all costs. The dial is what sold me on this watch. The watch's brilliant blue bezel and dial give it a unique personality, and the display's orange second hand is a great compliment. Both the dial and the bezel have rectangular markings in the hands, which are in the paddle style, are uniform in both shape and color. When put together, they form a design that hints at the past while being unmistakably modern. Moto's Caliber 80 movements are used once again, making this watch precise and Swiss-made. Number 3. Mito Berenceli Gent The Berenceli Chapel's classical design served as inspiration for another long-running Mito series. On the 30th anniversary of the introduction of the Berenceli series, Mito introduced a new collection in 2006. String instruments served as inspiration for these replicas. Ten years later, on the 40th anniversary, the Heritage line was introduced with both men's and women's styles available. The Ocean Star was reduced to 40 mm, while the Baron Selly is smaller at 39 mm. Even better, it just measures 7 mm in thickness. The watch's minimalist aesthetic reflects this intention. Thin and sophisticated, this is the quintessential dress watch. Though unusually drawn to smart casual dress watches with a bit more heft, this particular model caught my eye. Another model with a throwback aesthetic, if that's not going too far. This time, the color scheme reminds me of JLC's Master Control, Silver Dial, Blue Second Hand. A slimmer variant, to be sure. It's a refreshing change of pace from the Ocean Star and an alternative to the brand's more intricate designs. Once again, the Mito movement that drives the watch is visible through the case back. Caliber 1192 is still based on the Swiss-made ETA movement, although it has a somewhat different design. The watch is perfect if you value subtle sophistication. Number 4. Mito Multifort Gent. Here is yet another Multifort timepiece that draws inspiration from the Sydney Harbour Bridge's architecture. This is a personal favorite since it is more solid than the Baron Selly. 
and has a design that is reminiscent of a military watch. This is the biggest watch in this video, measuring 42 millimeters across and only 11 millimeters thick. It's not as fancy as the previous model, but it's not exactly casual either. It seems more purposeful, like a simple tool watch. You probably already know that it sports a sapphire crystal, basic water resistance, and Mita's 80-hour power reserve movement. However, the dial is the first noticeable feature. It has a pattern appearance with its vertical lines and simple indexes. There are other dial color and band material options available for this model. However, I find that the cream dial and leather strap combination is the most pleasing. The watch's design is so similar to that of fellow Squatch Group brand Hamilton that I expect it to compete in the same market. Number 5. Mito Multi 4 GMT. The idea is straightforward, but the end product may surprise you. The watch's bezel is placed within the case instead of on the outside. Under the glass, you'll find a second crown that allows you to spin the inner bezel. This Mita watch has a second crown that is used to move the fourth hand. The two crown design is intriguing in its own right. One of the most athletic looks, it seems more like a functional tool than a stylish adornment. The watch's dual crowns could imply that it serves more than one purpose, but the monochrome face and band create the sense that it serves only one. The GMT hand and dial are both colored. It's a nice nod to the colorful, retro aesthetic of the original super compressor designs, and it makes the timepiece seem even better. The two-tone bracelet is attractive, and the Swiss automatic movement is visible through the case back. The 42mm case width is just right, and it features a standard sapphire crystal and 100m depth rating. Number 6. Mito Multifort Escape The Multifort Escape is a minimalist, vintage-inspired 44mm watch. The moment I laid eyes on the case, I knew this was the model for me. The stainless steel has been sandblasted to give it the appearance of antiquity. A genuine leather strap complements the look for an added dose of toughness. The hands have been skeletonized and are a matte black color if you look closely. It adds a lovely touch and works well with the case. The green dial, like the previous two versions, features vertical Geneva stripes. But this time, there is additional color, including a hint of orange on the outer net track. It's not as vivid or intricate as it sounds. It's a simple timepiece all around. The dial is easy to see because of its size and the use of large, strong numerals. Similar to the previous models, this watch also features automatic movement and a sapphire crystal that can be viewed via an exhibition back. The more closely you examine this timepiece, the more you will like it. So, that's it for the best Mito watches of this year. Like, comment, and subscribe to receive the notification of our latest videos.